The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. Welcome to the C-Note Show. We start with humor. Now it's going to be humorous. It wasn't humorous a second ago, but that's okay. That was some real shit. I was asking a man on here who teaches uh, high school English what his favorite book is. And he said, oh, there's a riveting book about concentration camps. So we got off on Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. So phenomenal audio book. The first half of it that I recommend to coaching clients of mine is the first half of that book. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. How do we make sense of the suffering that we've gone through in life? Uh, the first half of the book is the story. The second half is a little bit different. So it's less than three hours long. Um, don't listen to it if you want to be uplifted. But if you do want to have more, let's say, spiritual grounding, existential belief in yourself, meaning, well, what am I here to do in this one life? I'm not going to live forever. It's kind of the opposite of entitlement. Um, speaking to a good friend of mine who I've known for about five years out of the local men's group here, that he's, he's an OG along with me and Steve Forsman's original men's group. And, uh, this man says, yeah, I'm entitled. I never thought that I would get sick, that anything bad should happen to me. I thought if I did everything right, that I should get everything that I want in the world. Does that sound like a nice guy or what? Right. That's like definition of nice guy. I never think anything bad is going to happen to me. And on top of that, nothing, I'm never going to die, I guess, right? So I was talking to him about the breath practices that I do, the existential, the two minute, four minute, six minute practices that I do in the morning. Very short. I did another one this morning. I combined what I call breath of, breath of fire with an existential practice, which is simply exhaling all your breath all the way. And that, if that was the last breath you were to have in the world, what would you be grateful for? And when your body wants to start breathing again, that's when I start counting. I don't count. It doesn't count until your body is like starting to flip out. And when your body starts to flip out, then you're really into, okay, if this was really my last breath, what would it be like? So that's, that's a quick preview of um, some deep shit that we get into that. I just like dove right into the water there. Let's, let's hop back out of the water and start with some comedy. So you guys, you're here because you want to know how to be phenomenal within your own self. You want to turn that furnace on within your chest. And you want to turn the waterworks on within her parts. And you want to go from there. I was just talking, I was just talking with Cynthia yesterday. I don't know how much we can actually put on YouTube. That's one thing I love about us guys. I love about us that we're challenging what I can put on the internets. And I fucking love that. Yeah, Roger, Roger. That's right, buddy. Uh, chat, that was me since I was three years old. And my babysitter said, you can't do that. I said, oh, really? <laughs> Let's find out what happens when I do what you just said I shouldn't do. Welcome to Jeff Allen. Why do you think I had so many babysitters? I don't know. They averaged, yeah, yeah, yeah. They averaged about 1.5 times. <laughs> One or two, that was about it. So welcome to the show. Oh, you are a man with fishnet stockings. I mean, uh, starting to rise in the world. That young lady. I don't know how old she is. I don't know what I'm saying. I can't think of words right now. Has fishnet stockings on. Tell her what to do. She has an I love New York sticker on her bag, Cynthia. Someone must have told her to go to New York. <laughs> oh, someone told her what to do. Cynthia's sex sexcapade spot today. Tell her what to do. Apparently it's to wear five inch pumps or whatever those are right there too. Roger's, Roger wants to know what to do. He's, he was sharing around some pictures of his Mensa group earlier. This is my dramatic pause. Yeah, Mensa, Mensa is right. That's not the picture behind him. That's not the picture that he shared earlier on. I'll let you use your imagination. It was a little closer to this. I don't know. It was kind of in the middle, kind of a 1.5. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Todd's here. Good to see you. Ken's here. Jay, Jason's here. Zach's here. Roger, Steve, JK. Yeah, buddy. Richard Patrick, JT, and Staudius T. Juliet. I think I hit that in the first <laughs> seventh seventh try all right cynthia cruz is the only woman allowed in this show for her feminine professional perspective she's been in this field for years and years we've been a private practice together for going on five years coach coached hundreds of men thousands of hours 
Cynthia, thanks for being here. I appreciate hey, it. Thank you yeah. for having me as always. It's an, always an honor and an extreme pr privilege to sit here with you and all of you. I'm, as I always do, I'm looking forward to your sexcapade spot today. So what, what prompted you to uh, do tell her what to do? What gave you that idea? I, it is from an article that is about initiating sex in a bold way and a lot about, you know, that kind of sexy, bold, telling her what to do in the moment. And I know that that can be an extreme turn on for both women and men. And that there's sometimes a little bit of a hitch that I wanna give a feminine perspective on of how you can truly approach this probably at like a level two and start bringing this kind of um, playful, bold, directive energy into sex between you two. Oh, very cool. I love it. Yeah, you guys are here for the advanced ninja level shit. That's what we get into. We teach the basics as well, the three forms of confidence of how, what, and why you're doing this, the behavioral, the emotional, and the spiritual skills. And then we get into the ninja level advanced shit every single day. I love it so much. All right, let's get into some comedy and then we're going to dive into the stuff. I got a couple posts from the forum again today. Uh, I love that video we started with yesterday, Craig Ferguson, how to create chemistry with anyone. So if you missed yesterday, go back and we started talking about how to create chemistry with anyone. Our theme this week is subcommunication and unlocking the, the fun buzzwords of unlocking the secret power, no hyperbole there, unlocking the secret power of subcommunication. So how to feel amazing about yourself, how to know what to say to turn a woman on and how to be powerful in relationships. It's okay. I'm going to share 30 seconds of Craig Ferguson to get us into how to create chemistry with anyone. Here we go. Craig Ferguson. Misinterpretation after asking if Yvonne surfs. I do a lot of adventurous things, but water is not one of my best friends. I'm, I'm not, not down with water. Really? Yeah. What do you do when it's thirsty time? <laughs> These platonic jokes are still good for building a connection because they make it fun to be around you. Another way that Craig creates a flirtatious vibe is with innuendo. He'll say something that's technically innocent, but could have a double meaning. Watch here as he critiques Mila Kunis for her harmonica technique. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. Okay, you Don't just first. rush in there blowing and sucking and chewing. <laughs> Take your time. That's wildly inappropriate, <laughs> except it isn't, which is why it gets such a big laugh from Mila. One thing with any of these misinterpretations or innuendos, you don't need to linger on them. Watch in this next clip how Craig makes it work together. She asks him if he ever loses his cool on set, and he starts with an over-the-top compliment, then switches to an innuendo. You lost it on the show before? <laughs> I, I, I lose it during the show. I'm losing it now. When I saw your shoes, I was like, ah! Oh! I've lost it. You have. Mm. I've lost. I know where it is. You do? I've got a rough idea, yeah. <laughs> now watch how even though Moon is ready to play along, Craig's already moved on to something new. No, I don't know where it is. You, okay, you, are, you were, that's a very interesting name, Moon. Thank you. It? Moon, Moon uh, what's your uh, ancestry then? What's, what's that? By not lingering, Craig shows he's flirty and inappropriate mostly to amuse himself, which makes him much more attractive. Once you see it's well received, you can come back to it again with a different joke and stay on the topic for longer. With innuendo, misinterpretations, and absurdity, what you'll often see is that Craig will be the first person to make a joke sexual, but once he does, the other person is happy to join in. And it's not just female guests he does this with. For example, watch this interaction with Chris Pine. You have harmonicas. Uh, yeah, do you blow the mouth organ? I... <laughs> I... Do you blow the mouth organ? How do you think I got this job? <laughs> Teasing, absurdity. Uh... <laughs> I love Craig Ferguson so fucking badass. He's got tats up his arms. Still, you see him. That man is the shit. Oh, I love it. Do you blow the mouth organ, Cynthia? Occasionally. Occasionally, yes. yes. <laughs> this I, I already knew the answer to that, guys. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. That wasn't a secret. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's jump into uh, our staircase of courage question for today. I love Cynthia. These uh, use Canva to create these. Uh, mashups of our show, the daily Zoom call for men on top of Superman. It's fucking awesome. Ninja Power unlocked the secret to her sub communication. We're going to get into tell her what to do. We want her to love us for life. We want to love our fucking self for life. So we do the daily war plan. We understand our morning kingly plan. We do this every damn day. And if you don't, I'm going to ask you why the hell not? You know, why don't you spend five minutes on yourself every day? And 
usually men are like, uh, uh, mm, uh, eh, cool, mm, excuse, right? So if you can't spend five minutes on yourself, you've got your priorities upside down. Speaking to a man about uh, this today about priorities. And his wife says that if the sex therapist can't make me desire you again, I want a divorce. Let me just so let me just let that one soak in. I just want to let that one soak in. I just really love that one. That was a fun one. To watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show.